Hi folks, I hope everybody's feeling good today. I have a, another pretty sweet knife I want to show you. It does have a couple issues with it, but we'll get to that. First, I want to give a couple quick updates. The first one being on um, some of the physical ailments I've been going through lately. Uh, I went and seen a neck specialist yesterday, and... He's 99.9% .9 sure that I have a pinched nerve in this area, which is causing the pain in my left shoulder and down my left arm. Um, so this is an order to go get an MRI. So we're, we're getting, um, getting progress slowly but surely on this. Um, as far as, get that to focus in. As far as my back injury and back surgery, um, that's moving along uh, slowly but surely too. So, but right now I'm I'm kind of blessed to have pain going down my left arm and pain going down my right leg. So, at least it's balanced. But anyway, thanks a lot for all your um, well wishes and thoughts and prayers. Um, I'm keeping it upbeat. Um, mind mindset so I mean everything's good let's just keep it at that the next update is the drawing on Sunday for the 500 sub subscriber milestone in the mail I received a new Higo and here's the guy I was talking to uh, talking about in the last video. Nagio Seizakusho. Um, he's like the, I read an article, he's like the last artisan that makes these through, I mean, these things been made for years and years, but he still makes them by hand. Um, even forges the blades and does the grind on it. So that's going to be a giveaway. And then, of course, the infamous Duke Duke, made in France, which is an, another handmade, um, another handmade beauty. But I'm, I don't know. I'm going to keep them in the packaging and send the two new ones out. I had gotten these to be replacements for the two I was going to send out, but I'm not going to send these out. Um, these both, by the way, are part of my international budget knife collection that I want to show someday to show the whole thing. But this one has about eight, six to eight months worth of, I don't know if you can tell, patina on the brass. So I don't want to start over with a new one. And it's been used. So I'm, you know, I'm not going to give away a used knife. So there's that. Beautiful Higo. And here I'll show you the reason why I know it's hand forged. Well, I read it was. Um, as you can see, these these blades aren't stamped. There's his final grind to get the shape of the um, katana point there. It's kind of got the katana belly on it. It's a little up to up. And you'll see on your friction folder tab here. I don't know exactly what they call that. But it's not welded. And you can see all the hammer marks. So that's all handmade. The, I, I imagine the handle's pretty easy to make. So, but there's the Higo. That's one that's going out. And I'm keeping this one because it is used. And um, they come blunt. Half stop. And you'll see I got a wicked edge on there. The Warthog Special Edge. It's better than, um, what's that guy's name over there? He brags about his edge. <laughs> but anyway, there's the beautiful Duke Duke. And as you can see, it's kind of marred up. So I'm not going to give away a used knife. So we got two, two to give away. Um, I also ordered this for my international budget collection because I broke the blade on my last one um, it wasn't it was hanging up on the wood 
and I had never seen one of those hang up before. So you would always have to kind of push it to the side to get it down. So I tried centering it a little bit and it broke the blade. But here's the new one. And I'm thinking I might even give a third prize out, which would be another Opie, number eight carbon. So, but we'll find out on Sunday. I'll surprise you. We'll see. But for sure, there will be two winners drawn. And that will be sometime Sunday. I can't go live. I think you got to have a thousand subscribers to go live, um, at least with the mobile. I think I could go live if I went on my laptop. But anyway, we'll have the drawing on Sunday. Gonna have to skip the spin around the block. I can't extend my left arm. And it's a shame um, the spin around the block on the video that I had to delete because I had a copyright infringement. Um, man, it was epic. It was four minutes long. And uh, there was about 40, 40 of you guys, 35, 40 people that seen it um, before I took it down. But it was a nice slow cruise around the block with, um, are you ready? Celebrate good times, come on, in the background. <laughs> yeah, I know, don't quit my day job. Um but yeah, no, it was an epic spin around the block. I read a couple comments where people told me that was their um, the best spin around the block they ever seen. So one day I hope to recreate that and um, without the music in the background. And uh, yeah, we'll see how that goes. <clears throat> but anyway, let's take a look at this knife. Now I bought the these two case knives out here. Got to move this down. At the same place, DLT Trading, and we'll have to uh, take a look at this Boker real soon. And this other new one that I got here, check out this old, this is a 60s Sabre brand Barlow. Got that for like $22. Look how tight that back is there. But I want to put that up with these gorgeous... Barlow's up here and see if it fits in and it does so but anyway I got both of these slimline trappers although I don't know if they exactly call this a slimline as you can see the the height of the blade is much bigger than the Tony Bowes and the handle is much wider than the Tony Bowes this is a true slimline trapper. DLT is still selling these. I'll leave a link in the description box. These go for uh, before tax and shipping $59.99 and $69.99. So I know a few of you already bought this and um, you guys really like them. With this you get the new uh, black box. And with the Tony Bows, you're going to get the old box. Here, we'll show you the model number if it'll come in. 71048SS, ebony smooth wood. And so we'll take a look at the slim line here in a minute. I want to show you it comes with a certificate of authenticity. 2019 SHOT Show exclusive. Now the SHOT Show is in Las Vegas. And let me tell you, if uh, I was in good physical health right now, I would probably, I'm in Michigan, I would be heading south. And right now I'd probably be in Kentucky. Here, I'll let you freeze frame that if you want to read it. I would probably be in Kentucky on my way to um, my good friend uh, Zan Ali's um area there in Atlanta, Georgia, to go to the uh, Blade Show, one of the biggest and best blade, probably the best blade show um, in the country. I know the SHOT Show is pretty big, but from what I've read and heard from Zen, um, the, the Atlanta, the Blade Show in Atlanta is top dog. 
So, yeah, I'm kind of bummed out that I can't be going to that, but, may, you know, there's always next year. And we say that a lot up here because our sport sports teams really suck. So <clears throat> every time we get eliminated uh, early from playoff competition, it's, well, there's always next year. So I'm going to stick by that. There's always next year. Hopefully I can make it down there then, and we'll check out some knives. Okay, let's take a look at the Tony Bowes collectible that I ruined because I decided to use it. <laughs> uh, well, I didn't ru ruin it. I, I didn't buy it to be a user, but sometimes I just get this itch where I'll grab a knife, especially when everything's out here, and start cutting on something. And I probably shouldn't have used this because I could have just reached up a little bit higher and grabbed this, which is a designated user, as you can see on the blade. And this I use around the kitchen a lot. You can tell the uh, handle has been washed quite a bit. And that's good because I like that um, washed out micarta look, washed out distressed look. So I'll keep that there. But here, let's take a look at the Tony Bowes. There you go. Polished handles, ebony covers, propeller shield. Not the best fit in the world. Um, some marring there. This one, the quality on this one's not as nothing near to the quality on this one, unfortunately. And you would think with the Tony Bowes, they would um, make sure they try and get it right. Now, there's no half stops on it, which is not typical for a single blade slim line anyway. But you'll see this one has quite a bit of gap on that back spring and liner area. Look at the nerve. My hand is going crazy. Um, yeah, there's a little bit of pain in my left arm right now. But uh, I'll, I'll make it through it. Where are we at? 12.30. So, yeah, anyway, beautiful ebony scales. I don't like the fact that this, and I haven't hit it with anything. Usually, you know, if, if you try and tighten up your, your liner, this is going to show your pivot pin. But no, this is the way it came. I'm probably past the point of returning it. I still like it, I mean, because I love ebony wood, and this is a classic um, pattern styling. So <clears throat> just a few too many flaws for um, $60 on this one, and this one being $70 with less flaws, I'm more happy with this. I mean, this is already turning into one of my favorite knives to use and carry. But anyway, if you guys want to take a chance, DLT still has these. I'll leave a link in the description box right to it. They also have, DLT also has the uh, Tony Bowes Sow Belly. But it's $94, but it is super sweet. Peter, you should go get that one. I know you're a big Sow Belly guy. Um... But yeah, for $94, I don't know. You're probably taking a chance, but it may be well worth it. Um, at um, Stamp is USA 71048 Stainless Steel. And I kind of like it. The good thing is the blade is centered. So, yeah, there's a couple minor flaws. I mean, there's not a real good fit here and not a real good fit here. But to some people, that don't matter, you know. If I were ever to sell it, of course, I would point it, point that out and that out because I wouldn't want an unha unhappy customer. But in the last two years, I've only sold three, <laughs> three knives 
and I regret selling two of them. So I'm probably not going to sell it. I'll just keep it as a collector piece. It does look good when you look at it like that. So anyway, my friends, that's it. Um, the drawing will be held Sunday. There's still time to get in if you haven't gotten in yet. Uh, all The only rules are if you're a um, subscriber, you have to go to my previous video. And in that comment section, just leave a comment. And anywhere in there, leave the number 500. And um, you'll be entered. And the drawing will be Sunday. So good luck to you all. Um, thanks again for all the well wishes. I'm getting things worked out slowly but surely. And until next time. We got to show this too. That I'm probably going to do that one next. A beautiful bulker. Either that or the um, 60s Barlow. Classic. But there you go, my friends. Until next time, take care. Peace. Bye-bye.